Good morning. I only hope that my introduction of Lauren Bassett may do her justice. Simply, the world and my world is a far better place with Lauren in it. My own life has been enriched by knowing Lauren. Lauren and I share quiet time in my office with only an occasional chit-chat, which usually begins as high-minded, but inevitably concludes otherwise. Mature beyond her years, Lauren is everything that one could hope for in a student. Yes, I got to teach her. A classmate, a teammate. I'm sure her soccer team would agree, but I'm talking about the mighty team of mock trial. A friend and a community servant. Lauren is the kind of young woman who deserves to be emulated by others and the kind of human being who I hope to know when she is an adult. From her wry sense of humor, to her level-headed perspective, to her impeccable integrity, Lauren is a joyful and humble soul who embraces life with both arms. With absolute respect and affection, I ask you to stand and greet Senior Lauren Elizabeth Bassett. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you to Father Tim in the vestry for allowing me to speak today, and thank you, Mrs. Aldridge, for the lovely introduction. When I was younger, I loved movies. The Parent Trap, Home Alone, every Pixar movie. You name it, I loved it. On long car rides or planes, I'd bring out my worn pink earbuds and watch every Disney movie possible. Instead of Saturday morning cartoons, I'd pop in Mulan and happily sing along. The, sus the suspense of her fight against the Huns gripped me as I watched Mulan battle, but I contentedly sat cross-legged on the couch, knowing that the ending would always turn out okay. Then life hit me, or really, I guess, Marley and me. <laughs> One Saturday morning, I saw the DVD cover of an adorable yellow lab with a shiny red collar, and I couldn't wait to add this inevitably heartwarming movie to my list of feel-good escapades. I popped it in our DVD player, grabbed my pink bowl full of Rice Krispies, and sat on the couch, oblivious to the trauma I was about to endure. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the movie, but let's just say it's not really a happy ending. To call me scarred would be an understatement. When the credits rolled, I remember sitting on the couch in shocked tears, Rice Krispies half untouched, and then running upstairs bawling to my mom. After the trauma of Marley and me, I refused to watch any new movies. And this fear of the unknown wasn't just confined to the TV. I soon realized that I was actually most terrified of certain aspects of my own life. I constantly tried to prepare for the future, filling my notebooks with purple scribbles, as I carefully prepared for upcoming events. I thought that if I made detailed enough plans, I'd be able to control the outcome of each of my pursuits. Obviously, the scenarios I planned for never followed the script I had created, whether it was with academics, sports, friends, or anything else. Nothing ever turned out like I had predicted, and the full revelation that I'd never be able to perfectly plan for the future was truly scary whether it's with not knowing how the movie will end or not knowing how my time in college will go, the fear of the unknown was and remains terrifying. I've learned that all of my careful planning won't allow me to ever know the future. I can plan for college as much as I want to. I can read all the BuzzFeed advice and get the cutest decorations for my dorm room, but I still won't be able to be sure of how it will go. I've come to the realization that instead of constantly trying to find a way to know what the future holds, I have to find a way to embrace living in a constant state of not knowing. Funnily enough, this reflection 
of uh, my reflection on this fear brought me to our chapel theme this year. Hope does not disappoint. I realize that I'll never know what will happen in the future. So the question to answer is, what's the point in doing anything if we can never be sure of the outcome? Why would anyone want to prepare to take a test, compete in sports, or go to college if we can't be certain it won't be a total disaster? And the answer is hope. We can't know that we'll succeed, but we hope that we will. And hope does not disappoint. And that doesn't mean that we will always succeed. It doesn't mean things will definitely go well or even that things won't be a total disaster. I found the meaning of hope does not disappoint to be different than if I hope, I won't be disappointed. There have been so many times I've had hope going onto the soccer field and walked off later in tears. I've been disappointed over and over again, especially in the times when I've had hope the most. But I've realized that over time, those experiences where I've had the most hope are the ones that have been the most meaningful, regardless of their outcome. Because I've realized that hope is much more than an individual state of being, like knowledge might be. I can't hope individually. We gain faith in ourselves through preparation for big events, and then we can expand our faith to those around us. Hope flows between each person in a community because we create hope by working together towards our goals and we relieve ourselves of the individual burden. By hoping, we're saying, I realize that this is not all in my control and I don't know how this is going to go. And by unburdening ourselves individually, hope strengthens the bonds between us as a community. I believe that's why in those situations where knowledge is the slimmest, when we have no idea how things will turn out and have to rely on hope the most, that's when we often feel closest to those around us. I'm not going to stop planning for the future by any means, but I'm going to stop putting so much pressure on myself to try to know what the future holds. Instead of constantly being nervous for each moment's ending, whether it's the ending of a movie or the end of my time at EA, I'm going to focus on sharing these experiences and looking towards the future together by being present here in the EA community that's become my family. I feel a lot of hope for tomorrow, hope for the hundreds of great experiences I'll share with my class and this school and beyond. And hope does not disappoint. In silence, let us reflect on what we have just heard. <laughs>